These are my zucchini spicy fritters with bacon. <laughs> I have to put it in, don't I? I know. And it's all about the flavour you get from the zucchini. But what I've done is I've already got some things ready in a bowl here. I've got some red onion slice. I've got some bacon. The duct tape of the kitchen makes, the everything, del makes, makes everything delicious. Holds the kitchen together. I've got some uh, spring onions I've already chopped up, some garlic chives and some chives, some chilli and some zucchini mm. matchsticks, you called them, didn't you? Yes, I did. I'm going to show you how to do them. You know, really, really easy. I'll just okay. take the top off like that and I cut it like that and then I'll hand that over to you. Lovely. We don't waste anything. That'll be used for it a will. soup. will. I'll grate it. Don't worry <laughs> and I'll put it in something. I'm sure you will. And then I'll just cut it all the way down here like this till you get these little pieces like that. Mm -hmm. Most cheese graters have like a slicing thing on the side there that you can use to get something very, very similar. And once you've got it all the way down here like this, mm -hmm. I just put it on its side here like that and then you can either chop it nice and long or I just chop it like that nice and easy. Lovely. How easy is that? Now, sticks. Exactly. So you're going for a bit of texture here from the zucchini. Where exactly. I like, like to grate it and just increase the veg content, you're thinking about texture. Ex with texture and okay. shade and that's what I'm looking at. Now I've got some garlic there, if you can microplane some of Andrew. that. And coriander, if you can give it a, a chippity chop, yes. that'd, be, uh, that'd be fantastic. And I'm going to pop this straight into the bowl. Now I'm going to add some cumin and coriander, a little dusting of that, mm. about a teaspoon of each one in there to give it some spicy flavour. Yeah. And you can see I've got these baby zucchini here. Love them. They're fantastic. They are. Some people like to pipe a little bit of cheese on the inside. Yes, ricotta. Crumb them or put them in a batter mm. and then crisp them up. They are nice and delicious. You've done that already. Pop, I don't know where it's going, Chef. So pop I just it straight put in the bowl. It in, go That's tap, it. tap, beautiful. Give it a tap like that. And the coriander, if you give that a yes, chop I as can. well. So, what I'll do with these little babies is just tear the flour off. The flour you can stuff or you can tear it apart like this and I throw it into the mixture. Ah. The flour, zucchini flowers are beautiful, nice and sweet and colourful. The Italians use them in just about everything. Could you put them in a salad raw? Yes, yes. Ah, put okay. You know, nice. pe people like to put flowers in lots of things, do, lots yeah. of salads, lots of, lots of chefs do Ma that. Makes it look a bit chefy, you know, exactly. when I'm doing it at home. So I just peel them off and throw them in there like that. And the little baby zucchinis, what I like to do with them, line them all up like this, and then they're like little hot dogs, aren't they? They are, they're very cute. And then I cut them into little rounds. Nice. So you got zucchini two ways, in fact, three ways through my dish. So I know we're not competitive at all, we're not competing not at, all. at all. And so I would never say, because I've used zucchini more times, I win. So I'm not saying that okay. at all, but He's not saying it. if I wanted to say it, I could. You could. Now we've got some habaneros here, which are really oh. great for spicy, and these are dried habaneros. But what I like to do is just cut oh, it up like this. Yep. Okay. These are really, really hot. Hot. They're hot. They're gonna I'm hurt. surprised you're using how many? Three. So he wants to get sweaty today, friends. That's, oh. that's quite clear. Oh, I want to remember this dish for days to come. So okay. I know that this is what's going to happen. So I'm just going to throw that straight on top Lovely. there. I can already feel the heat coming out of that one. <laughs> I know it's going to be brutal. So on goes the coriander as well. Now I'm going to pop it on the board here and I'm going to crack two eggs straight over the top of it. This is my way of putting together the batter so it all comes together beautifully. Nice. Pop it in there like that. I've got some baking powder. Pop that straight on top there. I'm using self-raising flour as well to okay, fluff so you want it all real up. fluff in this fritter. Exactly. Okay. And what I'm doing is making the flour to bind it all together with the nice. eggs and pour some milk over the top of it like that. Now I'll use. Wow, I'll... is the bowl big enough, Chef? That's <laughs> the big question. We have this issue sometimes. We do. Don't we we you do. Know, I'd like to use a flat bowl like this because I can get into it easily. What I like to do oh, is just mix it up with my hand here yes. and you've got that milk handy just in case we need any more, more milk, some moisture. So I'll just rub it together gently. Now if you can pour a little bit of milk here yes, and what we're trying to do is make sure everything is incorporated together perfectly. A little bit, a touch, a splash, yeah, is yeah, that adequate? Just a touch more in there just to soak up all that flour. And as you add that right amount of milk, which is the perfect amount now, you oh, can feel you. it starting to clump together, which Lovely. is what I'm looking for. That beautiful vegetable fritter with the bacon in there and all of those ingredients holding together beautifully. Now, once I've got it mixed up like this, I reckon it's about right. So you can see it's not like a thick batter. There's still lots of vegetables in there hanging Lovely. out there. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, what you can do is just have a little test of it. And I've got some oil already nice and hot there. I peel off a bit like this and I sort of want about a spoonful. Here we go, have a look at that. Nice hot oil, in it goes, sizzling away beautifully. We just need to do a few more of these and we'll put the whole thing together. So these are cooking up beautifully. Let's make a little salsa to go through with this. Some chives, onion, a little bit of sauce here, some chilli, lime, avocado, sour cream, tomato. Put them together and they become a beautiful salsa. Yum. A 
Okay, Priya, if you can fold that sour cream through that salsa there, mm. it's going to be delicious, isn't it? It smells fantastic. I've got to say, I'm a little bit excited. I can tell. This is a lovely little dish. Great way of using it. I know you probably would prefer maybe oven baked, and you can yeah. do that as well. That's what I was thinking. Cholesterol, I was thinking the deep fry, also the processed meat. But you know what? You could have it like this sometimes, but there are other options. I am the superhero of sometimes food. That's what <laughs> I'm here you are. for. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. But you know, if you want to be healthy, eat lots of veggies. Yes. And if you want to be healthy, eat what Priya cooks. But if you want to live, a good life. You can do both, my friends. Short yes, life. Well, thank you. Short life, Short but a good life. life. But a good one. Come to me. Now I'm going to grab one of those and I'm going to pop a little bit of mm. salsa on it, like that. Yeah, I've got some for you as thank well. Thank you very much. My mouth is watering already. I know, it's very exciting. There's lots of flavours, lots of great things going on here. You could see these being used as a maybe an entree or a little party snack. Or sitting in front of the TV watching your favourite team kicking goal after goal mm. after goal. That's Carlton, a... absolutely, yes. I Bombers. can imagine that. Mm. This is beautiful. Can I just say I love the texture, lots of crunch. I like the way you've cut the veggies. Look, I wouldn't eat this all the time. I would probably try and oven bake, remove the processed meat, but I really, really like this. This is delicious. Thank you. And a great use of zucchini. Ooh.